Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Laura Inga, cardiovascular surgeon, and I will guide you through today's topic, the implantable cardioverter defibrillator or ICD. In this video, we will explore what an ICD is, how it works, and why it's a crucial device for patients at risk of serious heart rhythms. Whether you are a healthcare professional, a patient, or simple someone interested in cardiovascular health, this video aims to provide valuable insights into the role of ICDs in managing heart conditions. So, let's dive in and discover how this remarkable technology can save lives and improve the quality of life for many individuals. The implantable cardioverter defibrillator, or ICD, is considered a life-saving device. It continuously monitors the heart rhythm and provides therapy for life-threatening arrhythmias through its electrical system. Traditionally, earlier devices were characterized by the presence of LEDs within the veins and heart, which increased the risk of complications such as infection, clot formation, perforation, or even lead displacement and fracture. To avoid these complications, two different models were designed. The subcutaneous ICD, which places the lead under the skin in the subcutaneous tissue near the breastbone, and the extravascular ICD, where the lead is implanted under the breastbone directly over the heart. In this video, we will focus on the extravascular ICD, which offers advantages such as improved electrical performance, reduced battery consumption, and effective therapy for ventricular arrhythmias. In primer lugar, the advantage is not to have any cable inside the heart. That is, what is the arbor vascular is kept totally free, so that all the risks of infection, etc., of those electrodes inside the heart are minimized, and it improves, of course, the possibility of fibrillation. A menor dosis. For the implantation of the extravascular ICD, the patient is placed under general anesthesia. We perform a subcostal 4 cm left oblique incision approximately 2 cm from cephoid. The structures are dissected in plans through the muscular fascia and the transversus thoracic muscle, creating an entrance for the lead. A non-absorbable suture, other than silk, is used for traction and later to secure the lead. Next, we introduce the external tunneling tool designed to deliver an hemostatic peel-away introducer of 9 French diameter to place the lead into the anterior mediastinum behind the breastbone and right over the heart. Once the external tunneling tool is in position, we carefully guide the lead under scopic guided vision until we reach the bifurcation of the carina. At this point, we begin to retract the external tunneling tool until a blue spot is visible. We hold the lead and carefully remove the tunneling tool. The lead is then secured with a non-absorbable stitch. And after confirming adequate sensing and stimulation of the lead, two additional stitches are placed to hold it in position. The lead senses the heartbeat and delivers appropriate therapy through its four electrodes two coils and two rings, supporting three different pacing vector options and three sensing vector options. Once proper functioning has been confirmed, we proceed to close the subcutaneous tissue and fascia. Next, we create a surgical pocket for the extravascular ICD generator on the patient's left side at the level of the left midaxillary line underneath the skin and above the muscle fascia. A transverse tunneling tool is used to deliver the proximal portion of the lead to the device pocket. After retrieving it, we perform a second confirmation of sensing, stimulation and therapy function before connecting it to the generator and carefully placing it in the pocket. It is crucial to position the generator properly to avoid external compression or tightness with the subcutaneous tissue. This helps minimize discomfort during chest or upper limb movement and reduces the risk of pressure users that patient may experience during the postoperative period. Once everything is in order and the extravascular ICD is functioning well, we close the surgical wound. 
After surgery, the patient remains in the hospital for 24 hours for proper monitoring before being discharged with comprehensive recommendations. As you can see, when performed by a specialist, this procedure is safe and indicated for patients with life-threatening arrhythmias. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this information has enhanced your understanding of extravascular ICD and its vital role in cardiovascular health. If you have any questions or would like to share your thoughts, please leave comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative content on cardiovascular health.